The business of horticulture is lucrative for many residents in Abuja and as TVC News correspondent Jokia Dissa finds out in the special report we're telling you now, many homeowners in the nation's capital take delight in planting flowers and nurturing plants for self-esteem and serene environment. Abuja, the nation's seat of power, sits on a landmass of approximately 7,316 kilometers square. It is located in the Savannah region with moderate climatic conditions. The city center, which is the hub of the Federal Capital Territory, is well laid with good architectural designs and is sandwiched by densely populated satellite towns. The ambience in the city is serene with a good road network and other basic social amenities. This is a typical housing estate in Abuja. Here, Many residents, mostly the elites and those in the middle class, live in a serene environment. Flowers and plants are a common feature of every household. Peter Yashim is from Plato State. Mr. Yashim has garnered 20 years' experience in the business of horticulture. As he looks back, the father of three is happy. Horticulture is his line of trade. If you don't have any disturbance, as in the government, a rot issue, Park and recreation, if you don't have problem with that and you have water, believe me, you make money. There are some plants that goes for 150000 Gardens are a common sight in Abuja as many strive to make their daily living from it. We they benefit it from this business because now here we the chop. The way I'm looking at it now, there's no money. And people are looking for money to feed themselves instead of buying flowers. The flowers and plants come in different colors, shapes, names, and sizes. Golden palms, bonded mango, satellite tree, queen palms, the masquerade, oil palm, Christmas trees, roses, jumbo guava, and jasmine lavendula are some of the names common in most of these gardens. In the third quarter of 2018, the National Bureau of Statistics pegged the nation's unemployment rate at 23.1 percent. Peter and many others in his line of trade believe horticulture offers a gold mine which can help reduce the nation's unemployment rate. We have expensive plants, those foreign plants. So it's very, very lucrative. I encourage people to join it. I used to have workers up to eight. I employ them, pay their salary, and they are doing well. It is a trade that is putting food on the tables of many, including these young boys. You are finding money that you will eat. You will find food to eat. Uh, our started work to find things to eat. Joy Okori is a homeowner in Abuja. She is a lover of nature and her compound testifies to this. Madam Okori is a baker. She takes pride in getting some of the ingredients she needs for her trade from her garden. She tells me her love for nature and the desire for a serene environment pushed her to growing flowers and plants. I love flowers. My husband do too. When we packed in here, we discovered that the whole place was used to be very hot. We had to do the planting and since then if you come inside the house you find out that everywhere will be cool. Like Madame Okori, Yobosa Owugiaren loves to tend to flowers. He tells me it is for self-esteem and beautification of his environs. You ask uh, those uh, who, who sell flower, they will tell you that it's a sign of self-esteem, you know. And uh, apart from that, uh, when you have a beautiful flower, sometimes you wake up in the morning, you are stressed, and you come out, you move around, you know, see the flowers. I mean, there's that tendency that that stress will, will reduce. And it also beautify your compound. Watering and weeding are a critical part of nurturing plants and flowers. Jerry Yusuf hands his pay doing this in this home. His duty is to keep these plants alive. He explains how this is done. 
Yes, I water it every day in the evening and I will also cut the flowers so that it looks fine once in a week or two in a week. These gardeners believe Nigeria, as the supposed giant of Africa, can earn more in this regard if opportunities across the value chains of the agricultural subsets, especially nauticulture, are fully harnessed. For those that have chosen it as a means of livelihood, horticulture is indeed a thriving business in Nigeria's state of power, and all they require from government is the needed support to boost their trade. Jokia TVC News, Abu.